this is what green grass does to you, I'm all in. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, not worried about Miss Pistolita at the Pendleton Green Mile race. She does amazing on grass. <laughs> hey y'all! Been long time no see. Yep, I've been so busy training horses. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> so I'm so excited. I'm going to take you on a little journey. Now, I've never done this before. It's going to be a new experience. I'm actually hauling out Pistolita because the man gave me permission. I can invest on her. So he's like, you need to buy her a good saddle, a good saddle pad, the good stuff. Because I believe in you, babe, and I know that you're going to go far with that horse. And uh, you too. And I was like, oh, thanks, honey. Don't tell me twice. I'll go and load up some cash and go spend it. <laughs> so we're going to go and do that. I'm going to um, take Pistolita to the double H. And I guess they measure your horses there and we could hopefully find something that's gonna fit her and around our price range too. I mean, I don't wanna spend an arm and a leg, but it's gonna be really fun. I'm so excited. So let's get Miss Pistolita. We're gonna load up and head off to Salem to Double H. Okay, got the girl and a huge shout out and thank you to our awesome neighbors for letting us pass the girls over. If you're wondering where we're at, we're just on the other side of our arena. And uh, we are so grateful that we can utilize their land so my girls can graze and get fat and be happy. So not just because my honey believes in me, but if you all have been following me around and just seeing how I've grown and everything with my uh, business, me horsemanship, training horses, barrel racing, everything, I've just, kind of always had that happy-go-lucky personality and attitude that you know dreams can happen don't just dream them but start living them and so I feel like Milagros there she is my girl and I we've we did an amazing job together getting started and now I feel that Pistolita I'm a little champion she's very little by the way she's 15 hands and still very petite five-year-old growing as you can see look at her grow <laughs> but anyways i don't know it's crazy i believe in this little gal right here pistolita she's got the heart she's got the fire and it's just like mine and so i believe in her and i believe in myself that i know coming soon we're going to do great and big things together and i hope i could inspire you as well and I could help guide you so you can also live your dreams. Stop just sitting around and wondering if, what if, just do it. You got nothing to lose. You only got lots to gain, right? All right, let's go. Enough, enough motivational speech now. I'm, I'm getting all teary eyed. Um, so let's go, let's load up. This is gonna be fun. Yes, I'm taking camo with me. Treat your horse like an athlete and they will perform like an athlete. That is so true, guys. And treat yourself like you are gold. You have a heart of gold. Anything's possible. I mean, look at my horse. She don't look like nothing. I got her at an auction, for goodness sakes. She's already running to me in the two Ds. That says something, don't it? Not much for bloodlines or anything. Just all about the heart, the dedication, and time. Time, time, and patience. 
Up, up, my little champion. Up, up. Oh, girl. Hey, little buddy. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Kimbo, I love you. Oh, that was quick. Thank you so much. I was just talking to you so long, that's why. Oh, okay, thank you. Have a good day. We made it, girl. We're here to Double H Western Wear and Apparel. So much for keeping you clean. Great. What do you think? We're in the city. What do you think? It's like, oh, Lord. What are you doing, Mother? Where have you brought me? All right. So they do close up that door over there so your horse doesn't take off. The saddlery place tack shop is in there. I'm um, just going to brush her down a little bit and wait for the guy come help us. So exciting. I already saw the weaver cinch I'm going to get to. Oh, hey, it's an early birthday for me, right? <laughs> okay, guy's gonna go get the gauge and we're gonna get started. Miss Pistolita, gonna get saddle measured. We're gonna measure her cute little back. Look at that. Mm-mm. She's feeling out nicely. We could gain a couple more pounds and a little more muscle, but we're still babies. Huh. Only five. Mom, stop embarrassing me. You're <laughs> okay. So this what do you, is a gauge. Oh, um, yeah, I live in Colton. Oh. This is a really neat device here. Wow. Is it okay if I record you <laughs> and just for um, educational purposes Shoot. and promoting Double H? <laughs> right. You got it. That's cool, girl. Okay, you're okay, girl. Was that kind of weird? That wasn't bad. That's a really cool gauge. It's got all these numbers on there. and I'm not a math whiz, but pretty interesting. Measures all the, their spine and everything. I guess where pretty much everything lays. Doesn't tend to move and wants to sit right here. There's really no problem with having a breast collar. That, that doesn't pull it further forward, but keeps mm -hmm. it there. But keeps it there, sense. yeah, yeah. But if you have a saddle without good flare, and then you're sucking it forward with the breast collar to keep it from going back, you're probably just riding right there on the horse's mm. shoulder, and you do not want that. Yeah. We want to do, especially in a barrel horse, it, it's funny because some people, the the problems with saddle fit oh, doesn't uh, really, uh, uh, isn't really a huge issue until you're asking a lot from them, like barrel racing. Mm-hmm. Or even trail riding if you're doing a bunch of downhill. Yeah. Um, or arena riding when you're doing the leads. The flat work, the slow stuff, might not be a, you might not notice anything. Right, and we're all around. We do a little of everything. Awesome. So when you're really pushing your horse a bit to get, especially barrel racing, you know, to get the most out of them, you want the spacing for those shoulders to move for sure. So. Okay, yeah. Okay, so there is one. Let's just see what else we got. Okay, well that looked like it looked gonna fit good on you, girl. What did you think? Did you that feel comfortable? Yeah. <laughs> oh hey, Camo. What's up, dog? <laughs> He's like, hey, do I get a fitting too? Camo's getting jealous. <laughs> this, this one has a single ring and it also kind of lines up just straight back there on your line. Yeah, I do like the single ring. I'm yeah. just not, well, I'm not used to using the double ring and sometimes I... I think that's kind of what a lot of things kind of boil down to, is what you're used to. Or, yeah. You know, not, I mean, the, the idea behind it is that it gives you some versatility. But, Say if, if your horse wasn't right. lining up sorry, in that 7 eighths position, it yeah. gives you some other options on where to send it. Oh. Oh, you're not being... She just wants to know what's going on. But, so that's <laughs> another good one. Okay. I'll set it to the side, but then, yeah, you can lift them up and see what you can do in here. Okay, good. Go grab some more. All right. 
so far I like number option two because I did like how it sit a little more better. I didn't look at it was poking out as much. It was more hugging the horse. So that could be something to consider. We need to be cooperative, okay? You need to be good, a good customer. Otherwise, they ain't going to give us service. It kind of bulks, bulks up some more, kind of yeah. rounds out a little bit more. We are slightly on the wider side of things mm -hmm. because if you're just too narrow, there's really no fix. Yeah, yeah. So, so right. these I would call wide or, or uh, I guess not like a full quarter horse tree. Okay, and she is, she's growing she's, yeah, so, from so, the sides mm -hmm. more. So she's going to be a little wider, I feel like. Hmm. Oh, you're okay, girl. Oh. I got this letter up under there. It's right there right now. Oh. She's checking out what's going on over there. Okay. So, same thing. I'm going to apply some weight. Um, now, this saddle I don't like as much. And the reason why I don't like it... Well, I could already the, see that. The bar angle is a little too flat. Uh-huh. So, what happens is the top edge of the bar is hitting. And the bottom edge of the edge of the bar is gapped. Uh -huh. So that's where some people get in trouble. You know, you talk about what the goal width is or try to measure it. Mm -hmm. But saddles trees can have varying bar angles. Yeah. And that really changes how they fit on a horse. So and you can this, just this see. one's a little too flat. Yeah, you could just see too that doesn't sit on her very Not well. Not as stable as everything else we've brought out. Ho ho. We don't like number three. It did not sit very well. I think either I don't know, maybe one or two. We're looking pretty good for her fit. So one thing I did just learn now is that Pistolita is definitely a little more muscular on the left side. And so I was talking to Chris, the fellow that's helping me. I'm like, oh, could it be because we do um, two lefts on the barrel pattern? So we only do one right. So that could be a possibility. So we're going to be focusing a lot on that. Easy girl. Trees are coming your way. Ooh, I like that one. I want that one. <laughs> Perfect. I should blindfold you until we get through some. I know. So, um, this is kind of where we start with saddles. Okay. This is from Circle Y. Okay. Uh, you'll see it says High Horse, made by Circle Y. Mm -hmm. So, it's a USA made saddle that they just recently updated the tree from the older version but it's now a wood tree with like an epoxy over the top oh okay um and what i grabbed from this saddle was a wide tree a wide tree okay and what i always do is i i kind of start these saddles up a little further mm -hmm. and then let them settle and rest yeah because then they st start to slide where they need to right correct correct and and sometimes i think i see a lot of mistakes being made on trying to force a saddle where, oh. where it probably Maybe it's not the the best spot for that saddle to sit. Right. Um, the saddle's going to tell you where it's going to go to. Um, and sometimes, you know, I know it's a concern of just how close should it be to a horse's shoulders. Um, really, the saddle is going to tell you, but ideally... Oh, you're okay. Oh. The saddle's, when it's complimentary, should be able to kind of sit forward with the front of the tree being over the shoulder slightly. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure that you're not doing anything to inhibit that movement of the shoulder underneath the saddle. So mm -hmm. I would usually refer to that as flare. Flare, okay. Mm -hmm. And that's just going to allow it to move the horse underneath the okay. saddle tree. But then what you'll notice with this... Oh, it's got those two... It does have the double ring, but double you can ring. always kind of look it over. And I don't know if you noticed, but like when you do this, the, and that's the 7 8 rigging position, mm -hmm. it actually is going to cinch right in the hardiest part of her girt. Oh, okay. So that kind of confirms that that's probably that's a, a good, good placement for it. Okay. The other thing, too, um, if you don't put a breast collar on it and you have some concern with how far forward it's sitting, uh -huh. oh. just cinch it here, don't put a breast collar on, and just run the horse. Just run the horse? Yeah, because the horse will walk it back if it if it's impeding on the shoulders mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah so it's a good way just to double check that no it, it is in the correct position okay yeah um so yeah i kind of figured like sometimes it's best to not use that breast collar because sometimes it does kind of restrain their movement 
So it probably depends on the saddle, but sometimes here, here's where I get concerned. There's things that have come up in the past. Before, what I've heard is my saddle always wants to walk back. Uh huh. So I mean, put a breast collar on to hold it forward. Most likely, you are holding it forward, and the whole reason it shifted back was because their shoulders were trying to work underneath it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so they're. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I could go put the gauge in it, but. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put that little bit of pressure on here. Yeah. So what you'll notice is. Like that flare, it ends pretty abruptly. Like uh -huh. it doesn't go very far. But probably part of the biggest things is if you slide your hand down in the underneath side of this bar, uh -huh. it hits here a lot quicker than it hits here. Than down there. Okay. So meaning more pressure kind of up at the leading edge or top edge of the bar mm -hmm. versus the bottom. Okay. I mean, just feel how bulbous it kind of feels underneath there. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like and that's nothing a here. Smaller Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, um, so this one's worse. This one's worse. Well, yeah, yeah, because if you oh. follow the point of the shoulder, it just ends right. I'll let you slide your hand in there. Oh, okay. Sometimes me describing it, it's a lot easier for you to so just, just feel, feel it. it but, yeah. So this one kind of cinches down just right behind your shoulder blade. Yeah, and that's not good because no. it you pinches. want her free and moving. Mm hmm Yeah. So. Seems like you have more speed than we know then. Because <laughs> I'm sure the saddle's holding her back. I think it's just a little, you know, like, say you're trying to swim or something. Uh huh. I don't know how easily someone would be able to do this, but, you know, if they put you their hand on your shoulder, you just, you just, you're going to probably short stride it a little bit. And, you know, in a barrel horse, you want them out and running. So mm -hmm. the more space you can give the shoulder, the plus... Bow. Plus, if you picture this, you're cinching this down even. Mm hmm <coughs> So it's only increasing the amount of pressure right behind the shoulder. Okay. Which probably feels like that's why we kind of roll a little bit Could here be. and there. It, it doesn't, well, and I don't know if you kind of saw it, but you, you notice how much more stable the others are? Yeah, and that one just wiggles a yeah. lot. <laughs> that, that can usually be a sign. Okay. See, I knew it. I knew it. Easy, girl. You're okay. Sitting on this high horse, wood and poxy tree, feeling good, 14 and a half, I like it, I don't know, I'm gonna sit and think about it, yeah, I'm gonna sit and think about this one, see if I like it, feels good, like the dark leather, then you can't see the dirt on it.